All right, it's time for another adventure in Project D Nuts. So as we uh, left our hero at the end of the last story, um, we were grouting, um, and I thought I cleaned those tiles off pretty darn good, and uh, I've come to the conclusion that this product basically stinks. It's uh, not for me. It leaves almost like a caulky residue to each tile so I have to do a lot of finger work and it's not fun like finger paint it's finger work let me show you so as you can see on this tile here so basic no I'm not gonna say it so what I really have to do is I have to first razor blade every tile and then I have to take uh, Mr. Clean Eraser and buff the heck out of it. So you can see the difference there between the side I didn't do and the side I did. And it's nice and shiny now, which you really can't see. So it's a real pain in the finger. So each, each quarter is taking me about an hour and a half to razor blade and then buff so when I'm done with this we will be gluing the center the main attraction uh, puzzle down and we'll go from there playing up by ear hitting them as they come alrighty okay so um, this is the grout I got simple grout from Home Depot and I'm finding out I really don't like it I will not endorse this product I do not approve of this message um, let me show you why so I've got all these cracks forming um, it could be because um, the grout the grout is too thick but on here it said and right on cue the freaking air conditioner goes off um, <laughs> The, um, it's not a big deal, but it's a pain. You shouldn't have to deal with this crap. Um, so, basically, there he goes again. Basically, home fry, mother biscuit. Um, uh, we're going to put a dab on there. And you're just going to smooch, smooch it in with your pinker. get it down in there I open I opened up the hole uh, with a, a little chisel so that way it um, it can accept the grout better that way and oh my gosh make sure you wipe it off because it let's see I started at 11 o'clock almost 11 o'clock and it's five o'clock now it took me that long to polish all the tiles so it was a real pain I will never use this stuff again I rather use I rather use the the grout that you have to mix with water I am not so into cool convenience if it doesn't convenience me all right so like I say there you go See, it's all nice, looks good, it's a beautiful thing, so that'll be fixed. So next thing is we are going to glue down that puzzle center. Woohoo! Alright, we're back. Here we go. We're going to glue down the center puzzle. Remember what I told you, it's like a lens, so it's sitting up like this. So I had to build a, a frame, a network of framing to keep all the edges down. And not so much pressure on the center so in this edition I'm using Elmer's wood glue 
the finest glue for wood projects. So I'm going to put this down. And I, I sure hope that uh, the grout behind isn't going to stop it from adhering to the <laughs> there he goes again he just loses his mind he can't even think man I don't want too much glue to come out the sides but at the same time I want to make sure that they're they be glued down yo that looks good all right close that up Bottom and top, bottom and top. Oh, you got a kind of eyeball. Left to right, up and down. Oh, excuse me, excuse the picture of my uh, uh, hindquarters. It's very humid here again. Eh. Okay, that looks good. Oh, crap, it's not level. Okay, level? Looks level. Okay. Well, because it's humid. I want to make sure that the glue is not going to get moist on the puzzle and stick to my boards. So, we will do this. That looks about centered. Put one there. I'm feeling for the sides. Oh, 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 I'm moving the table. Stop moving the table, dude. And we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. I think that's right. Hope it's right. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, that's good. All right, now I'm going to split the difference with this. Half on that side. Oh, I turned it again. Dang it, stop it. I'm going to put that there. And then I got weight boxes. <laughs> I just heard the table crack. Um, Trying to see if, if these areas are. I don't know. I think I'm just going to call it good. All we can do is hope.
going to be starting a new project. Don't know what it is. Once again, it'll be a surprise. I love surprises. All right, while well, egg dries up, I have confirmed this is a fox. This is a coyote. This is a dog. We got the bobcat. We got a deer. We got a duck. We got a snapping turtle. And we got a raccoon. No lower mandibles on the raccoon. Sad. This is a cat. This is my fat yellow cat. He's about to be painted because we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do a skull dip. Rawr. We're gonna paint him. And then we let them dry. We need a bucket of water. We need something to scrape the when you're done dipping to scrape the paint away with. And you need a stick to make your swirls in the paint for when you dip your skull. You gotta spray straight down. So you need a lot of paint in the can. Unlike me, who doesn't have a lot of paint in the can. Everybody I've seen has used a lot of paint. Oh, that looks cool. Too close. Okay, and then you're gonna take your stick and it's already hardened. Maybe because the sun? That's not good. Cut. Action. Alright, so we screwed up the first one. Might have been because it was in the sun. Not sure.
open. One paint always gets thicker than the other. Fumes are killing me. Okay, now we take our stick, poke it in. Damn it, it's drying again. I'm just trying it. Go for it. Go really slow. It wasn't very slow, but... And then you push your paint away. And you pull it out. And there you have it. Oh, limp biscuit. All right, cut. All right, so the gluing was a success. It went down around all the sides and glued very well. Tiles are all clean. Table is done for now. The last thing to do is going to be to pour the epoxy in the three sections and until funding comes through for that it may be a while so on to the other projects how come it zoomed out? I don't know I don't know why it zoomed out but I'll have to back up a little bit All right, so here we go this uh, this is the raccoon without the lower jaws um, and this is my duck. Oh, oh I thought that was a bone. <laughs> so I'm going to put these in water, soak them up, try to clean them today. And then uh, we will, oh, here. There it is. The final dip. Oh, too close. Ooh. El Gato! It's a blue and black El Gato! It's a chupacabra! Chupacabra! I'm gonna embellish this. I think I'm, I might do some gems up here. Drill the holes, put some gems in there, and maybe paint his one tooth gold. <laughs> He's a rich chupacabra! Whatever they call those things. So we'll be back. Time for Retrospect Theater. That's a pipe. So we uh, did all that grouting. Can't do nothing with the table until um, I get the uh, epoxy to pour on there. Um, I'm going to soak those skulls. We're going to... Oh, the next episode, we're going we're gonna to embellish on the... Uh, the uh, skull dip that we did um, I found a, a murder scene in my backyard yesterday uh, I think the hawk got one of my doves so um, picked up the feathers maybe I put some feathers in his cap Yankee Doodle and then uh, we're going to clean those other skulls and glue those back together so until next time kids Share, like, and follow. I don't, that's it. That's all I got. Every time. I just can't remember that word. All right, kids. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a great day.